Welcome back to my channel, Cindy Says. And this video is about self-care. The agenda is self-care. The solution is wellness in the park. Recently, I attended a self-care seminar that started off with a brisk walk in a local park, followed by a very extensive, informative presentation about self-care. We started out by setting up our food stations and then just sitting and talking getting to know each other as we stretched and got prepared for the walk of the day this was an event that was held and planned out for about six months and the return of attendance was fantastic Oh. <laughs> Say something, Tracy. Hey. Welcome to Wellness in the Park. A oh, beautiful park, too. Look, guys. Everything else. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to. Nicole. Nicole. Good morning. Great walk, ladies. Great walk. Yay. <laughs> Wellness in the park, first annual good morning, looking great ladies. The benefit of putting together this walk and yoga event was to get together with like-minded people, people who are trying to be positive, people who are trying to take care of themselves along taking care of their family. Yes, we are. Looking good, ladies. Good job. Good job. <laughs> 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 Self-care. Self-care has been defined as the process of taking care of oneself with behaviors that promote health and active management of illness when it occurs. Individuals engage in some form of self-care daily with food choices, exercise, sleep, and dental care. Today, we are focusing on exercise with doing wellness in the park, which includes yoga. It included a brisk walk and then an informative presentation by a professional therapist to help us with our mental health and how to keep our mental health on track with self-care. Let me set the record straight. I am not an expert. I wouldn't even consider myself a beginner with yoga, but I'll try anything to save myself. I'll try anything to improve my self-care. Here are some common yoga poses for beginners. The easy pose, which is sometimes called easy seated pose. The child's pose, the tree pose, the downward dog, warrior two, low lunge, seated forward bend, reclining twist, bridge pose, triangle pose, warrior two. At this point of the activity, we were actually still doing our stretches and I was actually exhausted. After this, I had to drink a lot of water, take a little break, which that's okay, and then start and try again. It's that way with anything that you start doing that you've never done before. It will not be easy, but what we will not do is give up. We will definitely not give up on ourselves. Some of the best yoga poses for flexibility is intense side stretch, head to knee stretch, cat cow stretch, bow pose, low lunge, wide angle seated forward bend, eye of the needle pose, cow face pose. All of those are great stretches to help increase your flexibility when you are doing yoga. I actually had to do those twice because I was pretty tight. It has been a while since I did any self-care exercise wise for myself. Up and down. Just a foot on. Do not forget to breathe right. In through your nose and out through your mouth. Okay? Now, 
Look here, left leg, wrong side, is that right? Is that right, wrong side. Right leg up and kick it out. Yes. Hold it there. Let's move it up and down. One, two. Don't go too fast. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, sorry. 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 I've never been in a yoga class with this much help. <laughs> okay, hold your leg. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Yoga is for all age groups. I have a special place in my heart, I think, for the seniors. Yoga helps reduce anxiety, lowering your heart blood rate, lowers your blood pressure, and helps you breathe easier. As you can see, we had a surprise guest. Here was a young man who had been doing yoga for 30 years and swears that's why he's still so limber at his young age. Yoga for seniors can be so relaxing. Many individuals report that they are sleeping longer and more soundly, which can often be an issue for an older person. The event continued with the presentation seen by all ages, race, and size. We covered emotional self-care. We also gave away a journal to help you jot your emotions. And then financial self-care, which both books are offered on Amazon. The presenter continued to give us examples. Do, um, they were shocked when they're stressed. And then with Amazon, it's fake, fake work in a lot of us. So then we can't sleep, so what do we do? Shopping all yeah. It's stuff that uh, have came to my house. I'm like, why would I do this? <laughs> what was I thinking? So I have a corner, and that's some stuff to go back. And it's not stuff, trust me. It's something else with it. It got to go back. So I got a day where I take stuff up because we just mindlessly do that. What if you took those thoughts and that mind and be more creative and do something else? That's another form of emotional self-care, using your creative abilities to do something that brings you joy. So let's just start thinking about that. So again, financial, social self-care. So we were all in the thrust of a pandemic for the last few years. And still, so some of us don't get a chance to get out. Or, so what, would, what do we have to do? We had to rely on social media. Now some of us did a good job with it, some of us have did not. Sometimes you have to detox from the social media. You have to detox from the phone and the computer. But there are times when you need it because there are positive groups online too. So you have to, again, we always come and look at something positive. So look for the positive things online. Because social um, self-care is important and understated and underutilized. We all think we can do this alone when you can. We're social beings. Thank you for coming to my channel, Cindy Says. As always, please subscribe, share to others who also want to learn how to be positive and improve their self-care through financial and physical practices. Thank you.